Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to go through a G major scale exercise using our 5 fret span and we're going to learn how to play it with 7th chords. So this is actually a continuation of the series uh, where we learned how to play the G major scale with this 5 fret span. We learned how to play it in thirds with a triad and now we're going to take the next step and learn how to play it with 7th chords. So first I'm going to play the exercise for you and then we're going to break it down and go chord by chord. And if you like this and you'd like to have written materials such as tab or notation, um, you can get those by going to either my Patreon page or my True Fire channel and you can find those things there. But uh, in the meantime, let's play the exercise. So there we go, we played the G major scale using 7th chords. Now let's break it down. So what I'm doing here is I'm sticking to diatonic harmony and I'm just using the notes in the G major scale to build chords. And what we find out is that as we build a chord, root, third, fifth, and then we add the seventh, um, the, these chords actually stay consistent across all keys. So whatever key you're in, if you're sticking to the rules of diatonic harmony, you know, the, um, the second chord of the scale is going to be a minor seventh chord. And just having that basic theory knowledge is really awesome. Um, but for right now, let's just go over these chords in the key of G major. So the first chord that we're going to have is going to be a major seventh chord. And um, remember that with this exercise, I'm staying within my five fret span for most of the exercise. Um, and that's going to put me between the third fret and the seventh fret. And I'm going to keep consistent with my fingering um, where I'm using my first finger for the notes on the third fret, my second finger for the notes on the fifth fret, and my pinky for the notes on the seventh fret. And then what I do is as we move across the strings, you'll use your first finger for the fourth fret as well. So actually for this part of the exercise, we're kind of not using our third finger at all, but we are incorporating a stretch and getting used to playing in this particular position. So, our first chord, we have a G major 7 chord. Which I play like that. 1, 3, 5, 7. The second chord is going to be an A minor 7. So the 2 chord of the scale is going to be a minor 7th chord. Then the third chord of the scale is also going to be a minor 7th, and we're going to have a B minor 7. Next chord of the scale, starting on the fourth scale of the gray here, the C major seven. Then we have a D seven or a D dominant seven, means the same thing. Then the next chord, starting on the sixth scale of the gray, is going to be an E minor seven. Now here we get to the seventh scale degree and we actually have a half diminished chord. So that means that we're going to have the diminished triad and then a dominant seventh or a flat seventh. And we're going to grab that up here. So we're going to have one shift in this exercise and that's going to take us from this region up to here, up to the ninth to twelfth fret. And what I'm going to do is as I play this, I'm going to play this note with my first finger and slide it up here to the 9th fret. And that is actually going to put me in the perfect 4 fret span position to play a final G major 7 chord so that I can outline the exercise and kind of make it all symmetrical and uh, fully go through the whole scale with 7th chords. So again, I'm going to play that transition for you. So here's my 7th scale degree. I'm playing an F sharp half diminished chord. So when you descend on the exercise, you want to do the same exact thing, but instead of playing the chords ascending, we're going descending. So we're starting with the seventh, then the fifth, then the third, then the root. So it's going to be like this. 
our G major 7. Then <clears throat> I'm going to go and shift positions again the same exact way. I'm going to play this note with my first finger, slide down here to the 5th fret, and finish there. So I'll play this transition for you. This is the G major 7, and then the F sharp half diminished. And now we're back in this position. We have our E minor 7, our D7, our C major 7, our B minor 7, our A minor 7, and lastly we finish up with our G major 7. Alright, so I went through that pretty quickly. I hope you were able to follow along. Um, and the great thing about this exercise is that if you get this under your fingers, you can work with it, use a metronome, get really comfortable shifting, and then just learning how these chords sound. Like learning how a G major 7 arpeggio sounds is like a super important thing in music. Um, and if you want, you can get tabs and notation and fingering patterns for this exercise. You can find those on my Truefire channel or on my Patreon page. So if you like this, and you'd like to have some written materials to go along with it, check those places out, and um, happy practicing!